Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in MedPage today, March 19th, 2018. Racial gap in heart health shrinking as whites lose ground. Biggest shift has been decline in key measures for white Americans, young and old. So heart disease and, and many heart issues are actually worsening for white Americans. Worsening cardiovascular health of white Americans over the past three decades has reduced persistent disparities in the heart health of minorities, researchers found. Rates of optimal cardiovascular health defined as a score of 10 or more on life simple seven remain below 40% among whites 25% among Mexican Americans and 15% among African Americans. Arlene Brown, MD, PhD of the University of California, Los Angeles and colleagues reported online in the annuals of internal medicine. The reduced disparities in CV health over time were most pronounced and persistent between whites and African Americans and were due to larger declines in LS7 scores for whites rather than gains in cardiovascular health among African Americans and Mexican Americans, the group added. Between 1988 and 2014, the proportion of whites with optimal cardiovascular health decreased by over 15% for those in the youngest group and by 4.6% for those 65 or older. Recent evidence showed consistent reduction in cardiovascular disease mortality for all racial ethnic groups. However, our findings of suboptimal control of risk factors in the population as a whole and declines in cardiovascular health among whites and some younger adults may foreshadow higher rates of heart disease and stroke and poor outcomes for these conditions in the coming decades, Brown and colleagues say, um, wrote. So now it looks like everything is increasing for them as far as heart disease, and it could be a lot of factors um, involved in that. In an accompany editorial, George Mensa, MD, of the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute in Bethesda, Maryland wrote, Brown and colleagues deserve great credit for the simplicity of their message and the opportunity they offer. Narrowing disparities is no cause for celebration. The good news is that the LS7 health factors and behaviors are simple to understand and provide the opportunity for everyone, patients, providers, payers, policymakers, and public health practitioners to take action. Life Simple 7 score reflects control of blood pressure, cholesterol, and glucose levels, weight, physical activity, diet, and smoking. Lower LS scores are associated with higher all-cause and CVD-related death and higher incidence of CVD, stroke, heart failure, diabetes, cognitive impairment, depressive symptoms, and end-stage renal disease. The group noted, using national health and nutritional um, examination survey data. Researchers analyze a nationally representative population-based multi-year sample of U.S. adults with no prior cardiovascular disease, 21,000 whites, 10,426 African Americans, almost 4,000 U.S.-born Mexican Americans, and about 5,500 non-U.S. born 
Mexican Americans. Across all five periods from 1988 to 2014, whites had a higher mean score, more years of education, and a higher income to poverty ratio than participants from the other racial and ethnic groups. Non-US born Mexican Americans were younger, more likely to be male, have fewer years of education and a lower income to poverty ratio than other groups. In 1988 to 1994, African Americans ages 25 to 44 came in 23% uh, lower on optimal LS scores than whites, while those 65 years old or older had an 8% gap compared with whites. By 2011 to 2014, these differences had decreased to 10.6% for the youngest group and about 4% for the oldest group. A similar but less pronounced trend was seen in decreasing disparities between whites and Mexican Americans with the smallest and least consistent gaps noted relative to US born Mexican Americans. As with African Americans, differences were noted for almost all age groups in 1988 to 1994, generally decreased over time and were greatest in the youngest age group. Okay, individual risk factors varied considerably across racial, ethnic, and nativity groups. Improvement in cholesterol levels, smoking, and in blood pressure were countered by worsening hemoglobin, A1C levels, BMI control, diet, and physical activity, Arthur wrote. The long-term effects of these diverging temporal changes in CVD risk and um, their implications for uh, disparities in CVD and stroke required further study. As in previous research, our analysis indicate the need for greater emphasis on prevention in all groups and earlier and more effective use of evidence-based therapy control CVD risk factors, the group concluded. The study limitations included limiting the samples to whites, African-Americans, and Mexican-Americans, and including only persons without CVD, which may have underrepresented some groups at high risk for disparities such as younger African-Americans and Mexican-American adults with early heart disease and stroke. So there you have it. So the, there's not much of a gap anymore between heart disease uh, in whites and black people. So it's actually gotten worse for them. And it really didn't change that much for the other groups to be honest with you. And, you know, I had read anyway, because of the opioid plague that's going on, a lot of younger white people are now getting heart valve surgery. In fact, I did a video on that um, back in 2017. And it was talking about all the people, I mean, there, there are people going to a cardiologist as young as, in their teens and early 20s to get a heart valve replacement because of all the drug activity that's going on. And they said they never seen patients so young before. So the things are definitely changing. It's very obvious. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.